Hey everybody, in this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you a little thing that I learned this week on about sizing dashboards and worksheets to fit perfectly into story points. Um, story points are, are I've, I've always struggled a little bit with getting them formatted just right and uh, learned something earlier this week that I th think you'll find super helpful. So let's start by building a couple of, uh, of examples. Uh, so first let's go ahead and maybe we want to look at maybe sales by uh, zip code. All right, so let's call this sales by zip. And then perhaps we want to maybe look at a bar chart that is something like maybe, uh, let's say we want to do it by year and by product subcategory and we want to do sales. Uh, now let's do, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put sales there. And maybe we want to do it by order priority, you know, something crazy like that. We've all seen charts like this before. All right. And let's just, for lack of a better, for lack of argument, let's just call this our bar chart. And maybe we want to look at a line chart. That is, perhaps we want to look at months. Uh, we want to look at maybe shipping cost by month. All right. And let's call this our trend. And perhaps we then want to look at maybe a scatter plot that's profit versus discount, maybe by product name, something like that. And maybe we want to size those by sales. All right, and I'm going to change my mark type to circle. And perhaps we want to color those by, no, we don't want to color by profit because we know everything above the line is going to be profitable there. Okay, and maybe I'll flip the chart. All right, looks a little bit now, I'll put it back. Okay, so this is our scatter plot. All right, so now let's say we want to take these things, these different sheets, and we want to put them into a story. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new story, and you'll see this is already too big for my screen, so I'm gonna maybe shrink it down, you know, a couple of clicks, maybe, maybe that's the size we want, and give it a title, and I'll call this my story about fitting sheets and dashboards. All right, very good. All right, and the first thing we wanna do then is we need to, on our story, we need to go ahead and just start dropping things in here. So if we start with our sales by zip, you'll notice when I drag the sheet in, that some of the things that Tableau does with, uh, with story points is it, if it's a worksheet, it'll go ahead and bring in any of the shelves that are showing. So for example, over here, if I go ahead and I hide my, uh, my size card and then I come back over to my story, you'll see that that's gone. And notice how this map fits perfectly into this story point. So if I shrink it down, if I change the size of the story, uh, you'll see that Tableau still uh, fits that worksheet in perfectly. Because what's happening here is um, you don't really have a, an option to either size to width or to fit to width or height or, or, uh, or the entire view because maps are, are basically always set to fit the entire view. All right, so that's why it fits perfectly. Remember that for the next story. So let's just call this our sales by zip. Let's do a new point, and this time if we look at our bar chart, you'll notice it's pretty big here. And if I drag my bar chart in, I now have a scroll bar, all right? Because uh, it's not set to fit the entire view. So if I go back over to my bar chart, and I wanna make sure that this bar chart always fits perfectly into my story point, I can go up here to my fit option and choose fit entire view. All right, now this doesn't look great, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. And if I go back over to my story, you'll see how it fits perfectly now, All right? It's, it fits in there, and no matter what size I make this, I make it wider, or if I make it taller, or make it shorter, you'll see that Tableau is adjusting the worksheet to fit this story because I, over here on the sheet, I said fit entire view. So that's the first lesson. You can use fit entire view to make a worksheet always fit perfectly in a dashboard. So use fit entire view on a worksheet. All right, and if we do another one, let's go ahead and let's say we wanna look at our trends and you'll see that this fits in here really nice and neat too. That's because Tableau by default uh, takes uh, continuous uh, date items and makes them fit the width. But let's say that we change this to discrete. 
change our months to discrete. If I go back over to my story now, you'll see that I now have to scroll, which I don't like. So if I go back over to my trend and I change this to fit entire view, go back to my story, you'll see that it now fits in there nice and neat. Okay, so again, uh, use fit entire view on a worksheet. Yes, I did give two story points the same name. I'm doing that on purpose for emphasis. Okay, and let's go to uh, a new blank sheet, and this time maybe we want to do a dashboard. So uh, let's say we pick our dashboard size to 800 by 600, and we start with our map, and then maybe we put our, uh, maybe we put our trends up here, put our bar chart down here, and maybe our scatter plot here. Something super simple. Doesn't look that great, but again, we're just trying to build a dashboard. All right, so over on my story, um, when I drag the dashboard in, you'll see that it doesn't fit in the view. So I have a couple of ways that I can handle, the, handle uh, fitting dashboards into a story point exactly. So if I know that the size of my story point is never going to change, then over on my dashboard, uh, under the size options, I can go ahead and pick this fit to story option. All right. And you'll notice that my dashboard resized and I come back over here to my story and it fits perfectly. But then maybe your boss comes back and he says, you know what, I need this to be a little bit smaller. So I go ahead and I shrink my dashboard both in terms of width and height and now my scroll bars are back. So Tableau did not remember that I chose fit to story here. It switches it to exactly as soon as you pick fit to story. So let me show you that again. So if I come down here and notice it says fit to story 700 by 400 this time and it shrinks it, I come back over to my story and it fits. Okay, again, it doesn't look great, but let's say my boss comes back and he says again, oh no, I want this to be a little bit bigger. All right, and he wants it back to the way it was and now I've got all this extra white space. So while I don't recommend setting dashboards to uh, size automatically uh, because that can in impact performance if, if people are constantly resizing their, uh, their view because Tableau will rerun the queries. Uh, if I go ahead and I pick automatic here, uh, just for the purpose of story points, uh, if I go back over to my story now, you'll see that my dashboard fits perfectly into my story point. And if I shrink it, or if I make it higher, or I'm sorry, if I make it taller or make it fatter. Either way, you'll see that my dashboard automatically adjusts to the size of the story point. All right, so the lesson here today is, and let's go ahead and uh, use uh, automatic to fit a dashboard. So a couple of, couple of tips here. Oops, it looks like I spelled dashboard wrong. So if you're using a worksheet, if you want it to always fit perfectly into a, a story point, use the fit entire view option, like I did over here for the, or no, I'm sorry, like I did here for the bar chart and for the trend. Or if you want a dashboard to fit perfectly, uh, set it to automatic. Or if you know that the size of your story point is not going to change, you can then use the option that says fit to story. So hopefully that helps and helps resolve some of the, uh, some of the uh, under misunderstandings that people have about how sizing works with story points. All right, that's it. You guys have a great day.